Congratulations. You won. So. I don't get paid to think, Terry. I get paid to drive, remember? Just so long as you never forget that. Birthday, we can do it we like. Lucas. Come on. Look, it's boring. Come on. think we can pull this off? I think she's smart enough. Whether she'll jump or not is anyone's guess. You say in your report she's an integral part of his team. Oh, she's more than integral. She knows every single code, every single password. Without her, Lucas is lost. You think she loves him? I think perhaps she does, yeah. So, um, why are you so hopeful she'll turn him in? Because in the final analysis, she's a survivor. Bishop? I'm sorry. But if she's as guilty as Lucas, we shouldn't be offering her a way out. We should bring them both down. Listen, with her access, we can get him. And that's why we should move now. All right, Trent. It's your game. You play it the way you think fit. Uh, just make sure we don't end up empty-handed at the end of it all. Sir. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
is your best. Yes. Lisa? Again. Okay. And again, come on. And again. And again. No more bets, please. I saw Chris do the weekend. Didn't know you were going back. I just need to get out of this place. How is she? Oh, I keep meaning to call her. She misses her little sister. All right, you don't rub it in. You gonna tell her about the engagement or wait till she hears about it from somebody else? I didn't know it was common knowledge. Oh, it isn't, yeah. I'll tell her at the weekend. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, thank you. You happy, Fran? Of course I am, you idiot. I'm just looking out for you like I always said I would. Well, thank you. never get tired of this, do you? Just making a few adjustments to next year's accounts. Are we winning? Tina, this is why I love you. Because you're extraordinary. You can do things with numbers that nobody else can. You just need to have a little imagination, Lucas, that's all. Well, can you imagine a way of losing this. What sarcophagus? It's just a cord I'm using. It's a deal, Francis. Just trust me, okay? As long as you know what you're doing. And make sure it's untraceable. Or the price depends on whether you're buying for love or for money. Hmm. And what about the love of money, Francis? If you have something to say, I suggest you say it to my lawyer. And if I did that, I wouldn't be saving your life. Leave me alone. I am offering you a way out. A chance to escape. I don't need to escape. Are you sure about that? Is everything okay, Miss West? She's fine. I'm just leaving. We will talk again, Francis. Bloody ages. I know. I'm sorry. Come here. How are you? Oh, I'm good. Yeah? 
I bought you a present. Oh, thank you. Guilty conscience. You like it? You shouldn't have. Your family, I'm allowed to spoil you. <laughs> Go on, let's see it then. Hmm, very <laughs> nice. And is Lucas excited? <laughs> Thrilled. Well, he's lucky to have you. Oh, just be happy for me, Christy, please. I am. <laughs> I am. I just wish you two would get along. It would make my life a lot easier. I just don't want to see you get hurt, that's all. I I'm fine. Honestly. The police? I think they're probably shop. The shop operates on the fringes of law enforcement. Somewhere between the police and the intelligence service. It's where the deals are done. I'll tell you one thing, Lucas. You've attracted their attention. You really have hit the big time. Can we buy them off? No. All we can do is sit tight, hope they lose interest. And in the meantime, we make sure you've secured yourself against any possible leaks. Which brings me to my second point. As your personal advisor, I feel obliged to tell you that uh, one or two people have expressed certain concerns regarding Miss West. Francis. They feel that she's privy to rather more than perhaps she should be. What are you saying? She is responsible for redistributing certain monies that might provide a valuable point of access to anyone with half a mind to look. Just for the record, I trust Francis with my life. And if anyone has a problem with that, then you tell them they should come and talk to me. Is that understood? Absolutely. Are you happy? <laughs> you know I am. No. You have no regrets? No. Lucas. Hmm? I was followed today by a policeman. He started asking questions. What do you want? Information. He said he could save me, help me escape. <laughs> <laughs> so I told him to talk to my lawyer. Yeah, it's a good girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, make sure you tell me if he bothers you again. No right. I have every right. You know, sooner or later, you're going to have to listen, and it'll be easier for both of us if it happened sooner. I don't care what you have to say. But you won't mind listening, will you? On March the 3rd, last year, some teenage girls were smuggled into the country from Uganda. Now, we only know they arrived because one of them was found dead in a canal. The others were sold into prostitution. The proceeds can be traced right back to your boyfriend. I've already told you, Mr. Trent. Call me Trent. 
If Lucas was involved in that, I would know. Oh, wake up, Francis. Open your eyes. Tell me, what do you know about the 21st of February last year? Or July the 14th? I've already told you, I don't know anything. On November the 8th, a family suffocated to death in a container while waiting to be smuggled in from Tirana. Now, the smugglers got paid in full by Lucas. Lucas is a businessman. Is that what you really believe? You know things. They're important things, and they are things that I need to know. I am going to make sure that you suffer the consequences along with everybody else, because I am going to bring Lucas down, with your help or without it. You can contact me any day or night on this number. Take it. I said, take it. We're the only ones who can protect you now, Francis. You just remember that. wrong. Tell me about sarcophagus. Well, what do you want to know? I want to know why we paid a quarter of a million pounds to an unregistered account in the Cayman Islands. I want to know who Mr. Yashek is. And I want to know why we've authorised another quarter of a million pounds to be paid to him at the end of this week. Yashek is a land registry clerk in Cape Town. We've got a lot of property deals going on over there and the money helps him to cut through red tape. So why was he in London ten days ago travelling under the name of Croft? Passport and tickets arranged through our office. Yashek is a facilitator. When you deal with the kind of people that I deal with, then you need a man like that sometimes. Don't worry. I'll take care of everything. Five minutes of your time, and then I'm out of your life forever. Scout's honor. Le 
let us commend Bella and Dritten Karkani to the mercy of God, our Maker and Redeemer. God, our Creator and Redeemer, by your power Christ conquered death and entered into glory. Confident of his victory and claiming his promises, we entrust Bella and the boy was five. to your mercy. His sister was seven, and they were with their father when they suffocated in the back of a truck. What's that got to do with me? There's a man called Yashek who organizes the operations. Lucas likes to use him because he works at a distance. See, he communicates with his associates through a series of uh, code words. We think the one used on this occasion was sarcophagus. Yes, I got paid through an account in the Caymans. Now, whoever set it up was very, very smart, Francis. Unless we get inside knowledge, I doubt we'll be able to break in. How long have you been watching me? A year. Give or take a week or two. And you must know I'm not going to help you. The only thing I know is that Lucas depends on you. Heal the memories of hurt and failure. Give us the wisdom and grace to use aright the time that is left to us here on earth. And turn to Christ and follow in his steps. What's the matter? You've never been this close before. I'm an accountant. I play with numbers, that's all. What, you really think you can just wash your hands of all this? It's the truth. No, the truth is you are not innocent here, Francis. And we both know that. Listen, why don't we stop pretending? You've got one of two choices. You can either carry on helping Lucas or you can start helping us. You're asking me to betray him, and you know I can't do that. No, I am asking you to tell the truth. No. You're asking me to destroy him. Lucas is a murderer. Now, you can either do something to stop that, or you can just carry on looking the other way. It's up to you. What did you do? I cancelled the second payment to Yashik. On whose authority? Who is he, Lucas? Really? Francis. I want the truth this time. I've told you already, he's somebody we need. Need? For what? What does he do for us exactly? Look, Francis, I'm not responsible for everything that happens. But there are legitimate business interests at stake here. Legitimate? Just pay the money! Let me take care of the details. What did you just do? Shut down the whole system. All financial transactions are suspended from this moment until further notice. Switch it back on. I want to hear you say it first. Don't push your luck. Just tell me who he is. What do you want me to say? This isn't the Red Cross. You know that. Sometimes corners have to be cut. I don't like it any more than you do. That's just the way it is.
Now pay the money. Terry, I need you to follow Frances for a few days. I want you to find out where she goes and who she talks to. So what do you think he's going to do when he finds out you've been talking to them? Lucas won't hurt me. How can you be sure? Because he loves me. Just because you feel cared for doesn't mean to say he loves you. It's difficult, Christy. You don't understand. You've always wanted more. Nice clothes, fast cars, beautiful holidays. What's that got to do with anything? Just don't be dazzled by the bright lights, OK? I should be going. Be careful. lost you today. I just don't think I could bear it if that happened. Lucas. Honey, I am not going anywhere. In fact, I've got something I want to tell you. About oh, Sean. Yeah. Because he met one of their people today and he's getting ready to talk to them. So, so what are you going to do? Lucas! Sean doesn't know anything. He's just a driver, for goodness sake. Lucas, please. Why is he so important to you? He's not. I just don't want to see you make a mistake. Don't make mistakes. That's how I survive. Yeah, exactly. So if he's talking, let him talk. You're not going to tell them anything they don't already know, is he? Were you followed? Well, who? Were you followed? I don't think so. What? You spoke to them, didn't you? I spoke to who? Don't lie to me, Sean. He knows it was you. 
They offer me 50 grand. Oh. Another 50 when he goes away. I've had enough, Francis. I need to get out. Look, take this. I know it's not much, but at least it will get you on a plane. You need to get out of here right now. Now go home, pack your bags and get out. I can look after myself. No, you don't get it. Lucas is going to have you killed. Come with me. It's not too late, Francis. We could find some little place miles from anywhere where no one knows sure, us. Sure, no. Yeah, we could start all over again. Just take the money and go. How will I contact you? Let Christy know, OK? Go. You want me to take care of Sean for you, sir? No. I'll take care of this one myself. Lucas. I've got something for you. Go ahead. Hold them. Come on, hold them. Come on, Francis, hold them. going to carry on right under my nose. You think I'm so stupid that I wouldn't have noticed? Uh, no. <laughs> You're right. I saw you! <laughs> you evil bastard! You bastard, bastard! 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 <laughs> you want to end this? Right now. Come on. It's 
just a squeeze, Francis. Just one squeeze, and I'm gone forever. It's up to you. Do you want me to go after her? Mr. Pilgrim. He's killed Sean. Francis. Where are you? What do you need? We need you. Yeah, what else? Files. Codes. But don't go back there. Meet me at the power station in an hour. What? Just be there. Do you really think he'd let you just walk away like this? Mr. Pilgrim is a very proud man and he deserves to be treated with some loyalty. Look, there's over £10,000 in the safe in my office. It's not all yours, Terry. If 
if you just drive out of here now? I think we're a little bit beyond that, don't you? Step away from her, Birch. Do it now. Drop my knife. Drop it. Get down on your knees. Get down on your knees. We're getting out of here now, Francis. You get in that car, you're finished. We need to go. We're moving out. You are a dead woman, do you hear? Dead woman! Well, have a seat. So what now? We need everything. Names, numbers, everything. And what about afterwards? Afterwards, you can write your own ticket. Well, I've got an older sister, Christy. She'll be looked after. For how long? For as long as is necessary, Francis. There is just one other thing. I'm going to have his baby. Why is this taking so long? We're doing everything we can, I promise you. It's been over six months. They have her buried very deep. And we pay enough people, so somebody must know something. Rest assured, we're reaching out in every possible direction. We just have to remain patient. I want it finished, and I want it finished now. Hey. Hiya. How are you? Yeah, I'm really well. Wow. <laughs> She's beautiful, Francis. She is. I called her Sarah. Means princess. Have you told Christy? Can't wait for her to meet her new little niece, can we? She will do. Listen, Francis. They've set a date for the trial. Three weeks from tomorrow. It means in a couple of months, all this is going to be over. Good. A baby? Is it a boy or a girl? It's a girl. Her name's Sarah. Is it mine? <laughs> Lucas, you have to... Is it mine? It really is impossible to say.
I swear by Almighty God that the evidence I shall give shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the It truth. has been shown, members of the jury, that the man you see before you in the dock is a greedy, callous, and vicious criminal who has allowed not a shred of compassion in his... Lucas Pilgrim stands charged with seven counts of manslaughter. Amongst the dead are women and children, innocent victims of his ruthless greed. In good faith, these desperate people place their life in Pilgrim, only to find themselves confined in a sealed container without food, water, or sanitation. Have you arrived at a verdict on which you are all agreed? We have, my lord. On the charge of manslaughter, do you find the prisoner guilty or not guilty? Guilty. Lucas Pilgrim, that in sentencing you, I'm obliged to pass the severest penalty. You take the prisoner down. Remember me? Are you taking us to Christie's? Yeah. When they said escort, they didn't say it was going to be you. Well, um, I just thought I'd take you there, if that's OK. Yeah, fine. I'm just getting her ready. Come through. Have you been? Blending in, Trent, just like you told me to. She looks well. She is. She really is, aren't you? So I see. Here, look, I got, um, I got that for the birthday girl, and that's for you. Thank you. Look at this, missus. This is for you. <gasps> House looks good. Just finished doing it up. You look good, too. something of you before now. Been busy. Did you do well? Yeah, I did. I got a commendation. You did do well. Mm. Mm. Oh. What's this? Say it brings you luck. It's perfect. Go ahead. I need to know where and how. Yes. OK. Yes. What is it? I need to get you two out of here right now. Trent, tell me what's happened. Trent, you're scaring me. Now tell me. It's Christy. I'm sorry.
How are they? They're as well as can be expected, sir. You have them somewhere safe? I got them downstairs at the moment. It's just until I can find them somewhere secure. Do we know what happened? I mean, where on earth were our people? It was Francis they were after. She was due there for Sarah's birthday. Where are they getting their information? That's what I want to know, sir. We're running checks now. Doing that. About the same time you started saving my life. I told you, Trent, for as long as I live now, it's always going to be like this. There is another way, Francis. It's something that we should talk about. I'll need to make several incisions inside your hairline and then inside your nose also. Um, a slight augmentation in the cheek and chin area to give a little more fullness to the face. And maybe a little cosmetic dentistry as well, just to complete the process. When I finish, no one will recognize you, not even yourself. Just exactly how painful is this going to be? Well, the pain varies with each patient and with each process, but as a rule of thumb, I'd say that you should expect to experience major discomfort for the first 7 to 14 days. And if something goes wrong? If you follow my instructions, both before and after surgery, nothing can go wrong. This is all done. You're not going to be able to see or speak to anyone you knew before. You understand that, right? There was only one. Christy. I know. But nevertheless, if you are walking down the road and you see someone you recognize, a, uh, an old friend or a distant relative, you've got to keep walking. Okay. Okay. Have you thought about Sarah? You know, it, it must have crossed your mind what might become of her if something happened to you. This could be a new beginning for her too, Francis. You cold-hearted bastard. I'm just thinking about Sarah. Every day she remains with you, her life is in danger. I'm not gonna give her up. At least this way she'll be free to spend the rest of her life in peace. I said I won't give up my child. Hey. You choose to swim against the tide, that's your choice. But is it fair to make that choice for Sarah? been approached by someone who says she can get close to the target. How close? Close enough to finish the job. You say this person approached us? She wants money. 
What do we know about her? Our source confirms she is who she says she is. And how exactly does she propose to do this without getting caught? She'll make it look like an accident. What about proof? She says she can arrange for us to witness the whole thing. Meet with her. Take Terry. See what you think. If she's genuine authorizing, and if she's lying, kill her. guarantees do we have that you can do what you say you can do? There are no guarantees. You're just going to have to trust me. And anyway, I'm the only one with high enough clearance to get close to her. And if I mess up, what do you lose? I'm the one behind the wheel, not you. You mentioned the possibility of filming the process. Mm -hmm. You'll have to do it from the air. <sighs> Mr. Pilgrim wants to know why. Why now? I have some financial obligations. And anyway, she deserves it. She spends her life trying to protect him and expects us to pick up the pieces. When will you know the route you'll be taking? About three hours before we leave. Well, that doesn't give us any time. You can take it or leave it. money will be in your account first thing tomorrow morning. How will we contact you? You don't contact me. I contact you. We'll be waiting for your call. Lambert's taking the bait. How will I die? It's going to be a car crash. Lucas? He's going to think he pulled the trigger. Look, um, we're going to set up a little vanities thing. Make Lucas think he's orchestrated the whole thing. He'll want proof. He's going to get proof. Someone's going to take your place, Francis. Who? She's a young suicide, unknown person. They brought her in yesterday. And she doesn't have a name? Who knows? She fits the bill. That's the only thing I care about. Look, Lucas is going to get a body, an autopsy, and he's even going to get a funeral.
Congratulations. You beat them. You won. Pay your woman the rest of the money and tell her she did well. With pleasure. Come in. We're ready. I'll be right there. They are good people. What do they know about me? That you died in an accident. No more. Francis, no. Front! Francis! No, no, no. She will be safe here. Neighbors are nice. Schools are good. She will want for nothing. I'd like a photograph, if possible. Not often, just once in a while. Her birthday, maybe. I'll see what I can do. Okay, if you'd just like to count to ten for me. One, two, three, You are safe now, Francis. I'll never be safe, Trent. You know that. Why did I ever listen to you? Things were fine the way they were. This is just the beginning. You get the chance to start again. I'm really tired, Trent. Do you think you could just leave me, please? Yeah, sure. Francis, I... I just wanted to say...
When I let them change my face, I became a different person. She refused to play by the rules. She gave up everything for us. I want my daughter back and I want her safe. You go to all this trouble just for me? 